Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of Green Hills Estate. This is a map by Jampot72. It is 75.29 megabytes to download just for PC and Mac players as of right now. Um, so as always, I'm going to start off by reading the description here. Make sure I got all my screen there. Uh, so it says, Welcome to Green Hills Estate. The Green Hills Estate is located in the heart of the English countryside and has been left as pasture and land for many years. Now the land is being sold for farmland. Local land owner and neighbor have some fields. Uh, so some contracts may be available. Uh, have you got what it takes to create fields, build production chains, complete contracts, and become a profitable farmer? The map is a standard 2 kilometer by 2 kilometer size and includes 4 fields, 57 viable farmlands, 2 forestry areas, sale points for grains, bales, and production items, a sawmill, extra ground angles, extra paintable terrain textures, extra decorative plants and bushes, UK license plates, custom soil map for precision farming, and there is no traffic, no pedestrians, or no collectibles. The map has standard seasonal growth plan. Enjoy the map and happy farming. So there we go. Um, yeah, let's go and take a look in here. So here we are, new farmer mode. You can see there's field one, two, and then three, four up there. So just four fields on here. We start off with that in new farmer mode. Um, it looks like all of our equipment is down here, which is gonna be right by where the store is at. Um, so yeah, just kind of a big loop around here. A lot of different little viable areas here. Up here we have the sawmill. Um, we have a little, maybe a little lake there. We got the warehouse products, warehouse, animal dealer, and we'll do our bale sales and then uh, the water tank over there. Uh, farmer's market, farmer's market products, farmer's market store, and diesel station all right down here by the store. So yeah, um, let's go through here some more. Standard again is gonna be through all this stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna go through this just because there's only two places for everything to be sold. Oh, I guess there's four technically, but there's not gonna be a lot of variation in there. Um, there's a few pieces of starting equipment which we'll take a look at in the store in a minute here. Um, we start off with $100,000 in new farmer mode, no starting loan. Um, we do have contracts again, just on those couple of fields that we have. No production chains starting out. Um, there are collectibles they said on the map, but in here I'm not. Or sorry, no, I said no collectibles. Never mind. Never mind. Everything's working great. I'm just remembered reading collectibles, so everything is fine. We'll turn that off there. Uh, but yeah, let's go and take a look around this bad boy. So since we're here at the store, it looks like we got all of our equipment. Let's start off by hopping into here and taking a look at what we start off with. We have a Massey Ferguson MF 7720S. We have a Deutzfar Topliner 4090 Harvester. We have a header for that Harvester and a header trailer. We also have a Kloss Carat 140 TD trailer. We have a small plow, a, oop, if I can get it, there we go, a direct drill Pottinger uh, cedar there. Uh, we also have a fertilizer and lime spreader, and we have a 10 Winkle weight right there. So that's our starting equipment, so not too bad. Um, while we're in here, since we don't have a truck, I'm going to go ahead and purchase us a vehicle to drive around the map on. There we go, beautiful. Okay, so yeah, just around here we'll take a look. So we got, again, the vehicle shop right here. Boom, you can get in there just that way. This kind of heads out towards the main area here, but we also have this stuff over here on the other side, which seems to be actually, it might just be in its own, looks like it's, yeah, it's in, the fence goes all the way down, so it looks like it's in its own area. So we'll just hop in the truck and drive over there. And that's gonna be, or sorry, that's gonna be over that way, not over that way. I'm getting all sorts of confused, but yeah, over there, but it still is in its own fenced in area, so we'll just hop in here and we'll drive around that way. All right, and I think, oh, my volume is actually probably pretty low. Let me turn that up so you guys can actually hear some of the game volume. There we go. Now there's probably a little bit of noise there for you guys other than just my voice and silence on uh, the gaps there. Uh, but yeah, we'll drive just around here, take a look at this. So in here, just to our left, go back up to that map. Zoom in a little bit. Just to our left, we have the Farmer's Market store, so you can buy stuff there. Then on the right-hand side, we have the Farmer's Market, and then the Farmer's Market products is gonna be right there, just ahead of us, straight ahead there. And then over here, we have a fuel point. So yeah, everything we could need right over in this little area. And it definitely does look like pasture land out there. That is pretty cool, I like it. Um, yeah, we'll take a left and curve around this way, and then we'll drive all the way up around and end out here in field three and four. So. We'll curve a left. That way we can kind of get a feel for the map um, driving around. It doesn't even look like it's a paved road. It looks like it's just going to be this dirt road all the way around, which is fine. But yeah, an interesting concept from it. We got some, honestly, we got some interesting maps that came out. Uh, this, I guess, would have come out, uh, yeah, yeah, today actually when this is going to post. It's just I slept, so, because I got off work last night and then my computer needed to update, of course. So I couldn't get any map tours done, so I let it update while I slept. And then now here I am because I work nights. But yeah. All right, and just on our left here, we own these two fields. Uh, the one thing I want to take a look at while we're right here is the different painting textures that we have. Um, it may not let me paint out here, but we'll see. 
So, yeah, land is not owned via, but we own this land. So we'll go just over here. Get a little bit of space. So you give animal mud. Pretty standard ones in here. Um, is there actually any crazy ones? All of these we've seen before. There is some extra ones in here, but all these we have seen before. Now, I'm curious about some of these plants. Yeah, Green Hills Estate. So look at all these different flowers and things we can paint. Like we can put these down or these guys down. Um, or these guys, or these guys, or these guys. I mean, yeah, we got a lot of flowers, which is pretty cool. I like that. That actually gives you a lot of... There's a ton of different stuff in here. Um, trees, are there any new trees or anything crazy in here? No, it looks like those are all standard. But yeah, that's cool. I like that. And there were some extra decorative or decorative objects, um, I believe they said. Maybe it was just a decorative... Um, extra decorative plants and bushes. Okay, yeah, so that was, that was what it was. Okay, well, we took a look at those. So kind of nifty. Some different... Uh, yeah, those flowers look really nice. You probably can really spruce up something and do some kind of neat stuff with that. I like that. Uh, but yeah, we'll just keep driving up around here and eventually we'll head out over to there. So we're just going to make a big loop around the farm, around the map. You can see just big open pasture area. Kind of nifty. Feels a little sparse, but again, if you are if you want uh, animals to be able to graze and stuff, that makes sense. And there's no collision on these bushes, so you're safe to drive through them and paint over them and get rid of them however you wish. Which is pretty nice. But yeah, we'll head up here. We're almost to the next point here. All right, and here we come. <laughs> Slow but sure, we're going to make it, everyone. Slow but sure. All right, so just in here, right here dead ahead of us is the um, warehouse products. And we also have the warehouse, which I believe is just, yeah, right around the back side here. Then we have this nice placeable area, which we can purchase um, to do placeables on, which is really nice. I kind of like that being there. It's kind of a nifty feature like having that we'll drive out here we'll curve a left and just around up in here there's our dirt road going that way but just in here we have ourselves the animal dealer bale sales we have the animal dealer or the water tank excuse me and then the animal dealer itself right over there so we've got everything we need for animals in there now if we back out we'll head around this way and actually i mean you know what Let's just do a flyover because we're just we've seen the map i mean we've seen the what the concept is here let's just do a flyover i think that just makes a little bit more sense so yeah yeah we've seen it so yeah it's just a bunch of pasture lands which is what the map is designed to be so this is just the road that we would have driven out along and we would have just seen more grass so yeah i'm actually pretty happy we did this instead over here we do have some forestry area uh looks like there's almost some forestry in here you could do if you wanted but those look like more those trees would be a little bit more brutal to do forestry work with but they do have that nice little pond in there which i think is a nice kind of a break and a nice feature there um but yeah up over here we have the sawmill up here in the far corner there's your sawmill and down here we have a couple more fields these ones you do not own field three and four and then that area is kind of nice because if you bought that um you get a couple sheds with it which is kind of nifty i like that uh just being able to buy that and have that uh, already set up there for you um and then of course we have where we kind of started out we have the shop and everything and then if we come around here this is kind of our starting farm which i didn't actually show off this stuff up here which I believe we own as well. Yes, we do. So we own this little chunk of land back here, and we have like a little kind of abandoned barn and then a nice little shed right there. So we do have a little bit of storage in there, which is kind of nice. So you can start off farming in there, which is pretty sweet. Um, this would be a really great one for uh, animals and stuff like that, doing a lot of grass work if you wanted to do that while you're building up your farm. And then again, over here, we got that placeable area for like factories and whatever you wanted to do there, animal dealer, and then we also have the warehouse sell point there. So there you go. That is the map, though, folks. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.